Zell Boy Army, welcome to what is hopefully a very spicy video. If these rewards are not very good, then they probably will be added to my tactics video. Um, no spoilers there, of course, but if they're very good, this will be a live YouTube video uh, of me opening my rank one rewards, first one of the year. So, very sweaty weekend. 10 and 0 is pretty easy. I always find, I don't know about you guys, it tends to get really tough. Just when it gets to um, around 15 games, every time I just keep matching absolute sweats. Rank 1 rewards, 384 plus player picks, 85 times 5, 87 times 2, so that's a guaranteed double walkout. A rare players pack, 2 ultimate packs, 125,000 coins. So yeah, we only slammed the desk once this weekend, so we'll show you the team very quickly that we used. Then we'll go back and do our player picks. So the team we used this weekend, 1,500 XP as well, even though I've completed the season. The team we used this weekend got Blonkin. Um, can't remember how different this team is to last weekend. Maybe Rice didn't play last weekend. Um, show you a few of the stats quick on the team that hit rank one. Declan Rice came in, got off a bit. Frankie de Jong, my most capped player. Bon Mai. Maybe Bon Mai was new this weekend. How many games have I played with Figo? Now, Figo's just under a goal a game. Messi, just over a goal a game. Liao had him a long time. I played 4 3 2 1. I'll very quickly show you the um, tactics, but I'm going to go do a full. You can just pause the video and look if you want, but I'm going to do a full rundown of these tactics. Um, well, I'll say, I'll say it tomorrow, but it'll be today if this video goes live. You can very quickly see him there. Yeah, if you watch the video, for the tactics, I'll explain those in depth. But this is the team that we hit it with. I did pack Salah and Stegen. Unfortunately, that amazing double walkout was on my mobile phone this morning, so I just got a picture. Um, that's from Squad Battles. Are you sick to death of getting out teamed on FC24? Want that God Squad you've always been dreaming of? Check out IGGM.com today. The best and most reliable place to get coins for your ultimate team. Use the link in the description and code ZELL at checkout for a 5% discount. Check out IGGM.com today. So best pull of the year with squad battles. Hopefully, hopefully we're um, improving on that now. Player picks. Are, so if you were in the Twitch stream, so I do stream every day, every single evening, UK time. I've streamed every single night since FIFA came out um, a month ago. Most consistent I've been with streaming for a long time. If you've not checked my Twitch stream out, Zelonius92 on Twitch, do get involved. If you're in the stream, though, what do you think we're going to get from our player picks? Obviously, hopefully, some very good fodder. Very good fodder towards SBCs. Um, I would love a top pull, obviously, but, um, yeah, I'm not massively expecting that. If you're in the stream, though, what are you expecting? The Bon Mai was from before asking me about something, but I would like Bon Mai. KDB would be a great pull. Not that I'd get him, have him in my team, but um, a 91 fodder would be good. Patelas would be amazing. Patelas would slot right in. Honestly, it's sad at this point, but I would take an 89, even if it's fodder, just because yeah, it's the best I'm probably getting in general. Okay, here we go. First one. Kante, so fodder from the start. Pretty weak set of picks, those. If Kante gets a flashback this year, he could be really, really good. Hansen would be amazing. I really, really want to get Hansen into my team. So um, I'd like Naiman to spend 800,000 coins. I was about to say that is absolutely dreadful, but Modric has saved that from being a ridiculously bad player pick. Um, I still think like an 86, 87 so far is fairly poor. Modric gold... He's usable, but he's there or thereabouts still fodder at this point. Um, what do you predict we're going to get from the last player pick? Because this has been pretty poor so far, to be honest. Definitely not very exciting. I don't want to just get three fodders. Fodder is expensive at the moment, but at the end of the day, is, is it really that exciting? A lot of these pulls? An 89. Honestly, I'll take it at this point. Come on. I mean, I've already got... I don't know if she's tradable or not. Pretty sure she's not tradable. We'll put Danilo in a first owner. 
might come up in some challenge at some point. I'd say, though, genuinely, the best I could have got from that was 286 and 87. I'm giving that a 2 or a 3 out of 10. I've not got anyone particularly good from these player picks so far this year. Pretty dreadful, to be honest, so far. Okay. The rare players pack's honestly probably the worst puller. But we'll open this first. Get your predictions in the chat now, though, for the 85 times. Now, we're going to open the ultimate packs afterwards. I think the ultimates are worse than these. So get your predictions in for the ultimate packs if you're in the stream. I want to see a walkout, at least. German, not a good start. Don't think that's anything. 82. Dreadful. Are any of these worth anything? Really not, are they? She got that SPC, didn't she? Yeah, that was dreadful. Hard work really paying off so far, yeah. Okay, we go. Could see me not even getting a walk out in this. Goretzka. Crows, well, can it be a double? It's a double. B. Hansen or something. Tonali? Oh, no. It's Pereira. That's got to be the least hype double walkout you can get at all. That was awful. And the fodder, I guess. Even worth all, really. I guess we'll keep him in. Really not exciting. Predictions for the next pack? Pereja. When you see a double walkout, you get a little bit excited, but pretty dreadful, man. 12k. Eight threes will just sell. Rodri or Ruben Diaz. Honestly, at this point, I'd probably take it just because of how much they'll be worth. These rewards so far, though, have been very disappointing. An 86 is another one towards the fodder wagon. Okay, get your predictions in the chat for the 85 times 5. Your double walkout, though, being just 286 is awful. That genuinely shouldn't even be possible. An 84 from an ultimate pack. 183. I got 283s and an 84. It shouldn't even be possible to get that. That is shocking. Packs this year, man. I genuinely think they've really hurt the uh, pack look. Awful reward so far, though. Okay, we go. It's got to be a double. Trailblazer? Harry Kane? Oh, wait. There's Trent. Who's the trailblazer? Who's the trailblazer? Come on. Robertson? That's a good pull, right? We got the Liverpool fullbacks. Let's go. Robertson's a big pull, right? He's worth over 100k. That's pretty cool getting the Liverpool fullbacks together. 192k. Let's go. One of my biggest pulls of the year. That's a pretty cool little moment as well, isn't it? Getting Trent and Robbo together. Probably probably the best pair of fullbacks over the last five years in football, maybe. This is an 85 times 5, but yeah, it's pretty nice though, isn't it? Thank you, McDonald. Honestly, that is a lot better than what I was expecting as my best pull. So the rewards have already pretty much paid off. That's 200k straight away. We could have someone else in there, but let's have a look. No, everyone else is pretty awful, but regardless, you've got to take a 12, 12k. This is he's worth 12. You've got to take a two, nearly 200k pull. How much is Trent worth? Probably fodder. Yep. Okay, predictions in the chat for the, um, what you call it, 87 times 2. We're getting another double walkout. Are these worth anything? 
Uh, we'll just keep these for SBCs. Harland, I'll take it. We'll sell Robbo afterwards. Pajor and Casemiro. We want to see Trailblazer. Come on here. Trailblazer in an 87 plus. Berardi. Who's the Trailblazer? Who is it? Let's go! Huge pulls! Come on! He's like 350k. Back to back Trailblazer fullbacks. He's 350k. We've made. We've made about 800, 900k from champs this weekend. Woo! I wouldn't be paying for 350k for you, Joe, but I'll sell you for it, soldier. Now CS7. Now, that was only two players in the pack. 8, 900k nearly probably after everything sold. Him and Robbo are 550k. You get 125k purely from just the coins. That's about 700. Jeez. Big, big pulls. I mean, even that Berardi surely worth a bit. How much is he worth? He's worth 43k. Who's paying that for him? Don't care, we'll take it. I mean, to be fair, that is a pretty good card. Yeah, he's the featured one, isn't it? I mean, he doesn't really have any player style, so I wouldn't pay it, but he looks all right. Yeah, we'll have a quick look on stream before um, before I head off at what potential options we got. But Yeah, YouTube, best rank one rewards I... I've had all year. I mean, it's the only rank one rewards I've had all year. Nice to see it actually paid off. We've probably made eight, nine hundred k there. Though. Absolutely beautiful. Appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Hopefully, you've had good luck this week in league as well. As always, keep it spicy. I will see you guys in the next one. Peace.